the H1B guy here, and today, the H1B guy news for the week ending October 29th, 2021. Today I'll discuss Plan C for immigration reform included in the Build Back Better Act, and market research analyst now considered a specialty occupation. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you if you haven't already to please subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and like this video so that I can continue to produce more content like this for you. I also wanted to mention the H1B Guy offers a variety of consulting services. I help businesses and individuals solve complex work authorization issues and the recruitment process while bringing awareness to employment-based immigration benefits. If I can help you, please reach out. I'd love to hear how. And you can book an appointment directly with me via the h1bguide.com. Today's post is brought to you by recruiternetworks.com, Path to Canada, and perm-ads.com. Now, the news. Well, thanks to everyone who checked out the final Chats with Charlie, Episode 8 Breakdown, and Top 20 Things I Learned. Definitely interested to meet Charlie's replacement and try to get a feel for how they will manage the monthly visa bulletin going forward. Here now are the news stories that interested me most this week. October 28, 2021, in a press release from the White House titled, President Biden announces the Build Back Better framework. Quote, in addition, the framework includes a $100 billion investment to reform our broken immigration system consistent with the Senate's reconciliation rules, as well as reducing backlogs, expanding legal representation, and making the asylum system and border processing more efficient and humane. For weeks now, we've been waiting on Plan B and now Plan C for immigration reform. As I stated back on the H-1B Guy Live on October 20th, 2021, I don't believe immigration reform is going to be a part of the Build Back Better Act in its finality. Based on previous reporting, I'm not confident that the Senate parliamentarian is going to allow any modifications to the INA to be introduced in the infrastructure budget reconciliation. And if it were to be included, I'm not confident it will receive a majority vote. And we talked about it potentially leading to a government shutdown. Of note though, the registry cutoff date would move to January 1st, 2010. Uh, in order to qualify, individuals would need to have entered into the U.S. by December 31st, 2009. Unused visas would be recaptured from family-based and employment-based green cards going all the way back to 1992. And it also would set a precedent for payment of fees as well as add-on fees for family-based and employment-based preferences. I'm assuming we'll have an answer from the Senate parliamentarian over the next few days. On October 29, 2021, for Press Trust of India, for the Times of India, in an article titled, Market Research Analyst Gets Qualified as Specialty Occupation, H-1B Update. Quote, in a major victory for H-1B employers, a federal government has approved settlement under which U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services has agreed to qualify market research analysts as a specialty occupation for the purposes of determining H-1B visa application for a foreign professional. Based on its prior interpretation of the Occupational Outlook Handbook, a Department of Labor's Bureau of Labor Statistics publication profiling hundreds of occupations in the U.S. job market, the USCIS was determining that market research analysts did not not qualify as specialty occupation. The settlement approved by the Federal District Court in the Northern District of California would now let companies request that USCIS reopen and re-adjudicate their denied H-1B petitions. Yet again, another lawsuit loss or settlement in this case for the federal government, specifically the Department of Labor and in turn USCIS. One thing of note, and the article alludes to it, is that per the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, a market research analyst is defined as a study of market conditions to examine potential sales of a product or service. Because most industries use market research, these analysts are employed through the economy. throughout the economy. Most analysts work full-time during regular business hours. Some work under pressure of deadlines and tight schedules. Most market research analysts need at least a bachelor's degree. 
again, going back to most market research analysts need at least a bachelor's degree. Some research positions may require a master's degree. Strong math and analytical skills are essential. The median annual wage for market research analysts was $65,810 in May of 2020. Employment of market research analysts is projected to grow by 22% from 2020 to 2030, much faster than the average for all occupations. About 96,000 openings for market research analysts are projected each year on average over the decade. Many of those openings are expected to be from a result that the need to replace workers who transfer to a different occupation or exit the labor force, such as to retire. So why is this role now considered a specialty occupation? And I think it really comes down to this, quote, strong math and analytical skills are essential. Simply put, this clearly defines the job category as a STEM job. And I've got to admit that it's kind of a shame that it took a lawsuit or in this case, a settlement to come to this determination. For the full post on the H1B Guy News for the week ending October 29th, 2021, please check out the h1bguy.com. And a reminder that today's news was brought to you by RecruiterNetworks.com, the smart solution for digital perm ads and local job postings since 2001. This national job board network provides recruitment websites in 1,024 major U.S. metro areas. Each local job board is its own portal and is a low-cost resource for immigration recruitment ads and local job postings for all industries and professions with a flat price of $225 per ad or $1,000 per month, regardless of which city you choose. RecruiterNetworks.com. Tell them the H-1B guy sent you. And by Path to Canada. Path to Canada provides an ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. If you're facing an H-1B denial or OPT expiration, don't get caught off guard. Make sure you have a plan B and Path to Canada is your answer. They will gladly help you navigate the process. And if you're interested in finding out more, please be sure to use the link in the video description below. And also by perm-ads.com the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. If you're looking to reduce your costs and overhead associated with perm labor certification recruitment advertising, let perm-ads.com help you. Just wanted to ask you again to please like this video, subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube, and click the bell for notifications so that you're notified anytime we post new content here to this channel. If you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate your support. The H-1B Guy, your global source for all things H-1B.